how should the church be making themselves ready for the second coming right now? Uh, well, That's I would say, first question. of all, everybody needs to be making themselves ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. People that are watching this program, maybe you stumbled onto the Jim Baker Show. You're sitting there uh, in your home. Uh, maybe you've thought about Jesus. You've never accepted him as your Savior. You need to do that now. We are heading in to what the, the Scripture literally describes this as a time of great tribulation such as never has existed on earth before. We're racing toward that moment. And there is only one safe haven, and that is being in Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins, and he will forgive you. There is redemption for you, and he can give your life meaning. If you're sitting there, COVID lockdown, you're locked up in your house, and you're saying, man, what in the world is all of this about? Jesus is the one who made you for a specific purpose. He can give your life the greatest meaning. He can help you in your family affairs, everything else. He is the one that you need to turn to right now. As far as the church, uh, Jim, here's what I would say. There is an upside uh, to if, if Donald Trump did not win this election, if some miracle isn't pulled out at the last minute in the Supreme Court or something, that certifies him as president, Biden, Kamala become president. There is an upside to all of this. And I was explaining this to my staff last week. And that is this will help the church put its focus back where it ought to be. Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a patriot. I voted. And yeah, I voted for Donald Trump. Uh, but all of that is 1% of who I am. 99% of who I am or who I want to be is a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You want to change a culture? Uh, you want a revolution, right? Well, the disciples of Jesus in the New Testament illustrated where the power to do that is. Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to the Jews first and also to the Gentiles. These 12 disciples went out under the greatest persecution of the Roman Empire, but their dedication and commitment could not be stopped. The more of them that were martyred, the more numbers were added to the church daily, until finally, within only a couple of hundred years, religious empires that had existed for thousands of years were in a, the, a, a heap, in a rubble pile. Nobody on the planet anywhere cried out, great is the goddess Diana. They are literally the ones who turned the world upside down, and they did it not through politics. Look, look at the book of Acts. Study the life of Christ. Jesus never emphasized politics. The New Testament church certainly did not emphasize politics. Now, their culture was different than ours, and so as an American and a patriot, I do take my time to vote. I cast my lot for what is... Uh, moral and right and good, and that is certainly something I ought to do even as a Christian. But once I've done that, other than praying for those who have the leadership over us, political forces and powers, it is time now for the church to refocus, get back to the job for which you were called, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is what the church needs to do. And to fulfill the Great Commission, go you therefore and make disciples of all nations. One of the polls that we're seeing right now is among the millennials who a year ago were saying they didn't care one thing about church. You know what they're saying now? They definitely care, but only where mentoring is happening in those churches. The only churches that are growing right now among millennials and Z generation uh, are the ones that are mentoring these kids, that are being the big brother, big sister, mom and father, grandparent figure uh, to them that take them in non-judgmentally and love them into the kingdom of God. That's, that has to be our focus. I know that that's going to be the commitment of uh, Skywatch TV. I know that is the commitment of the Jim Baker Show uh, to be uh, disciple makers and to preach truth and prophecy 
in order that the world may know where we are right now and how much time might be left. Uh, final statement, when I saw the Wormwood Prophecy, there was one part of it in which I saw people worldwide literally screaming for God to save them from the wrath that is to come. Well, you don't need to see a vision of Wormwood, but I'm telling you that is the core message to the world today. You need to turn to Jesus Christ as soon as possible. Give him your life, make him your Lord, and then you can live without fear and you can move forward in confidence that God has a plan for your life.